something. Or a pony. Not a pony. This isn't working. It could be a pony. Something was moving. Oh, I see what you did there. She was dancing in the red room. Which I think is what Shirley said when she was asleep in episode one. Where's the freaking key? Don't say that word. You say it. So it's a reading room for mom, a dancing room for Theo. Oh, and a tree house for Luke. And also Steve. It might also be said that uh, some houses are born bad. Born bad? Too much? Hmm. It depends. Where are you? Dad and I just got to the house and um, we know Luke bought the gasoline. And... Oh, honey. Oh, this is afterwards? And somehow they got back together too? Whose story did you need to hear the most? She needs to hear this from you. This is for little Eleanor. Hmm. And little Eleanor will buy this ghost crap? <gasps> Evening, <gasps> Governor. This is. <gasps> I mean, these ghosts are pretty harmless, right? I haven't seen them do anything bad. Just need to watch out for Poppy. Take off the hinges. How hard can it be? Look, I tried everything. But maybe with the two of us. Dad? Oh, Steve, wait! Oh, Steve, you idiot. Why don't you come to bed? Get some sleep. Hill House will be there in the morning. I know this is... It's hard, it's too much right now. Why don't you put this down? Right now I'm not convinced this is necessary. To start at the end. And then we went to the red room. And then the door opened and I saw Luke and then... Luke died. What? N no, he, he was alive on the floor. And then the door closed. Did you just spoil that Luke is going to die? What the fuck is this? It's still too soon. Why don't you come to bed? The, get some the, sleep. I, I mean, I, I, I can't say what happened after the door closed. I don't remember how I got out of the house. Hmm. Did you actually leave the house? You're still there, aren't you? This is all just, oh, you, you father mockers. I mean, is anything real before you write it, Steve? The things you write about are real. Those people are real. Their feelings are real. Their pain is real. But not to you, is it? Not until you chew it up and you digest it and you shit it out on a piece of paper. And even that. <laughs> okay, now it's obvious. He's still there. He's in the red room right now, I guess. This little one. She won't be real, either. Oh. She's Poor little Eleanor. If she eats me from the inside and I burst like a blister, will you lose your mind? Like your mother. Oh, she's about to burst. Steve. Duck and cover. Well, Gordon was right. <laughs> if you look long enough at the wallpaper, you can see that little girl. It's the little girl with the runny egg eyes. <laughs> the effects in this episode are quite good. This guy once again. What's his deal? Tell him thanks, but I, I'm. 
What's the weirdest thing you guys have on the happy hour menu? Like the thing no one ever orders. Boneless Caribbean jerk wings. What? Nobody orders that? <gasps> What's wrong with this world? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to be funny. I've been a minute, I guess. Yeah, she's Can not used to that, so... Eat these? Just take it slow. Be tolerant. Thank you, anyway. It was nice to meet you. I enjoyed the conversation, but I'm gonna say goodnight. <clears throat> Was that the last word? Mm -hmm. That's not what you said, though. Little perfect, Shirley. Having a little dirty secret. And when I die... I'm going to wake up in that hotel room and have to watch every single thing she did. <laughs> and that scares her so bad. She hopes she'll die first. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> oh, that's it's all right. Shirley. <laughs> oh, no, it's helping them, huh? We need help. This isn't real. It's a dream. Yeah, right. Tell that to your little affair. Shh. Just enjoy me. No, she's sure taking me. her time, huh? No. 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 <laughs> no. You. Our time. Come on, come on. God damn it, he's gone. Not surprising considering he shot Red Killer into his veins. Sweetheart, you're awake. Oh, I've missed you so, so much. Where are we? We're home. You're finally here. Go. Why don't you let me try to go? Oh. He just got here. Is he not dead yet? I thought this was some kind of afterlife reunion. <laughs> I'm not sure though how he can survive this. <laughs> I mean, this guy's got to have the strongest immune system in the world <laughs> to just resist red poison. This room is like the heart of the house. No, not a heart, a stomach. It was your dance studio, Theo. So. Make the house throw up, I guess. Don't know how. I'm sorry that I didn't answer the phone. But you did. So many times. I'm sorry if I didn't listen and I'm sorry if wouldn't have changed anything. I need you to know that. I loved you completely. And you loved me the same. That's all. The rest is confetti. <laughs> and now take that red poison and throw it against the door. Make that bitch vomit. Dad getting a pep talk too? No. He's getting a poppy talk. The next was Grandma Groton. So old and tired and grey, she fit off her attacker until her strength gave way. Why is she not doing that 
forehead touch thing she did with the kids. Can she get to him? Doesn't she want to? I was holding the door. Holding a door closed. I had my back against it and my arms out wide. Have you seen Game of Thrones? This, once again, sounds like the Hodo story. I know you love the people in that room more than anything. I won't let you take them away again. They'll die. If they will die if they stay. They're dying now. Our babies are dying. Let them go. Let my people go. Let them go. I'll be alone again. <laughs> There's Abigail. Please, let me fix this. Turn his head. We have lovers meeting. So the house is just allowing all of this? The house is letting him convince her? The house is letting her open the door? Start the car. Deep breathing. Is he dead already? Yeah, he is. Our daughter snuck out of her bed tonight and we thought maybe... Oh... Well... No. No, no, no. 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 Oh, no. Abby? I'm not sure they could have even seen her from that angle. I was so lucky to be your dad. I don't know what to think of this. This all this all seems just so incredibly easy. No fight. Not even any obstacle. Not even Poppy cares anymore. It's weird. A marriage can be haunted. And I let that happen to us, and I'm Oh, so is she sorry. confessing? You're scaring me. I'm gonna jump, and I'm asking you to hold my hand while I'm falling. That's a lot you're asking, considering your general behavior. Years ago, six years ago, I went to that conference in Chicago. I wish. I'd loved you better. Dude, seriously, you just... You just let this slip without even thinking about it? Hmm. Claire. If I go, we made it. I'm going on fire. Man, just in time, huh? For her to die here? This ending. Hmm. I'm kind of underwhelmed by this finale. Well, no, that's not right, not the finale, but the last 20 minutes, maybe? Okay, let's do it differently. Let's talk about the show itself, the entire show. Obviously, it has been great. So much is clear. If you look at it as a drama, it has been near perfection. However, if it comes to the horror element, it just couldn't live up to its own promises. I mean, the mystery and the tension was present throughout the season, pretty much. But then in the end, they didn't really utilize that 
They just let it fizzle out. Look at the night the family left the house, for example. They built that up as the major mystery of the season, or at least for the first half or the first two thirds of the season, giving us little snippets in every episode of what happened that night. But then when it came to episode 9, they barely showed us anything that we didn't already know due to those little snippets. And the same goes pretty much for the mystery of the house itself. In episode 8, you kind of advertised it to us as this big evil that's after the family. But then in the final episode, it's like it was just an ordinary house with a couple of friendly ghosts who didn't do anything in the end just because the family had a little heart to heart. I don't know if that's supposed to be a message that the power of love managed to fend off these ghosts, this evil. If so, okay, then that's their artistic choice. But as a viewer who lives with the tension of the previous nine episodes, it's like there's no resolution to the mystery and the horror. It just was gone in an instant. I mean, it's not like I demand some gore and some crazy ghost chasing scenes like in the 90s movie, but still it would have been nice to have a more tense finale. Anyway, that was the main problem of this episode. There were a couple of other minor problems scattered throughout the season. I don't really want to get into it. It would feel like nitpicking, I think. And the show overall has just been too good to do that. 